In today's webinar, we are going to be looking at an orientation to the human design system applied to career and business, particularly when it comes to the material plane. And so when we look at what we can do with this, there are many different avenues of exploration and experiential process in order to learn how to use this for yourself personally as well as professionally, as is my specialty. I am part of the BG5 faculty as an instructor and also the IHGS faculty as a teacher. So in working with the human design system for the past 12 years, what I've found is where I naturally tended to gravitate was towards human design and money. And improving the iterations of my experiments with people is what I consistently tend to do because I'm designed to. And I'm looking forward to seeing how this exploration actually manifests with each of you, if it is correct for you to continue on with me. So as a projector, I am designed to focus and penetrate one person at a time. You'll see I have lots of, this is human design certifications and qualifications, as well as BG5 certifications and qualifications. When it comes to working with the knowledge, it is important that we all tune to what is correct for us. So it's not that every technique, tip, trick that I have up my sleeve is going to be right for me to use with you, nor for you to take in. And the most important thing is to attune to your decision-making strategy, honoring your integrity of being, so that you can have the experience of actually seeing how this all works. A couple of testimonials from Sean Cook, exceedingly comprehensive and well articulated by a master level teacher and analyst. Rihanna says she has a depth of knowledge that inspires me to want to know more. Levine is my teacher. And Nina says she generously shares her lived experiences and delivers the material with practicality and passion. There's a respect to the source material. Now, that being said, I'm not for everybody. So if you're listening to me, most likely you will be in recognition of how I can help you transform your material plane, your life, your experience of life, because I am designed to do that as an innocent instrument of fate who can step in, change the fate of others through learning, particularly about human design, since that's my area of specialty, and mastery, particularly on the material plane, which is where I've been continuously recognized and invited to expand upon the knowledge. So that being said, let's start with looking at your business growth. If you're here in human design, you deserve a human design-based business. And so one of the things that I have the discipline for, unconscious Saturn, is my planning area of expertise, the ability to plan for success. Now success, what I've learned, is not an accident. You may come into my realm, my field, and see, wow, I want to be like Lavina, but it's not about that. It's about you being like you. And the plan for this success went through many different iterations and years and years and years of deep, obsessive almost training and experimentation on my students, on my people, my fractal who are with me. Still, some of them to this day from the very beginning, and it's not an accident. There is a plan for you, you could say, in your design. And that's what I like to do with people is read their human design from the practical application of what it is that they're doing here on in this realm in this time and space with their material success. So profit potential coaching is a methodology that I developed from the source material, Ra Uruhu giving out the 64 material ways and all of his wonderful little, we called it mastering the material plane because I was part of putting that package together at Jovian Archive when I started working for them. Started in 2014 and in 2015, we put this package together and I was so enthralled with all of it that when somebody finally asked me, hey, Lavina, how can we improve this? It was over at the BG5 Business Institute. I said, why don't we go into exploring the third lines because that's the material way and why don't we create some profit potential coaching materials? And so it eventually developed into the certification program, which is now taught at the BG5 Business Institute. So if you want to do what I do and you're already on the professional path, if you are qualified, you can join me next month to learn how to do what I do, that profit potential coaching. And it utilizes your treasure map. So BG5 is form magic. This is where my plutonic imprints are, the solutions that can be given out and shared in a practical application with others when it comes to form magic or 
in mastery of the material plane, being able to figure out what works, trial and error, and being able to apply things in such a way that people's material lives are improved. It's one of the things that I'm here for. The swell of energy as far as being a leader when it comes to helping others find security through the actual experiencing and experimentation of living lives as themselves. So you'll notice that uh, there's a constant reiteration process with me. I like to experiment and try new things and see what works. And learning this, what I've learned, is that it helps protect you. You can protect yourself by helping yourself see how other people sell to you because you get to see where you're a sucker for people selling things to you. You can protect yourself by recognizing the pitfalls of your mental distortions. One of my places of um, true recognition is how the not self or shadow state mind works and protecting yourself by guarding against any weaknesses, perceived flaws, even they may be perceived, they may be weaknesses or not but protecting yourself by aligning to your truth. Truth is individual, and by knowing your material wisdom, you can protect yourself from making so many mistakes on the material plane to where you may potentially feel quite downtrodden or down and out when it comes to making money. And I know that that's very important to a lot of people. It's one of the keys to the new era is being able to find the abundance of material within, and that's found through the process of finding exactly what you are most passionate about. So the thing that if you were to not have to make money, what would you do all day long? For me, even if it did make, it made me money or not, I was obsessed with human design, still am, with human design over and over and over and over again, reiterations to find that way forward and guide others through the experiment of being themselves on the material plane. Not an easy feat. Ease comes when you surrender to the way that you're designed to work and that way of you being utterly unique needs to translate over into your business as well. Your business needs to be unique to you. This is how you prevent people from uh, ripping off your stuff. I know it's a commonplace thing. A lot of people modeling themselves after others. It's just going to continue in that the homogenized world is going to continue to attempt to be role models. And yet some of us truly are role models and some of us trailblaze our way forward and they can never copy you. They can't be you. They can try, but they're not going to be able to really do you because only you can do you. So when you surrender to your form principle, your body being the life, your form differentiating, your mind being able to give unique differentiated perspectives to others without an agenda, then you've made it. And it's not about the amount of money, it's the recognition of your own felt sense of success, projector. It's the satisfaction of a job well done, generator. It's the capability that you have as a manifester to make waves and make impact, your true impact, your authentic impact in the world, manifester. It's the ability for you to find the surprise in life in alignment with your form that is reflective and evaluates things reflector. So let's talk about the cycles of growth that your business goes into. One of the things I want to help you with is how to discover and implement your career design successfully in your business. It is part of what grounds me helping you commit to your life's work, helping you commit to the right people at the right time, commit to yourself really, truly. Because if you commit you to yourself first, everything falls into place, your personal process. Whether that personal process be for you and in helping the other, guiding them to success, projector, or whether that process be for you, generator, for yourself first in building a business that thrives because you love what you do. You could wake up every morning bouncing out of bed with excitement or enthusiasm or whatever the case may be, joy. Whatever your design is designed to have as far as the implementation of one's energy resources into the world. So what we're looking at in the BG5 Career and Business Institute we have a map, a career design map, and they've translated it into words and 16 different areas of being able to um, puzzle piece these things together. Now, this is what is easy for the layperson to learn about and to know. At this point, at this juncture, 
what I love doing, besides mentoring fellow professionals like many of you here now, is actually applying the synthesis of design in small group with people in order that I hold the group together, my basic worth realized in holding the group together, teaching as a teacher towards the group's goals. And my practice now is very much enjoyable in the larger sense of lots of people at the foundational levels. But as I get further and further differentiated and know how to treat people accordingly to their differentiation, I prefer to do live coaching work. So that treasure map, one of the things that we'll work with if you decide to continue on with me, whether you start at the basis level or whether you go on to the advanced level. I also help people learn how to do what I do, although it, you won't be able to exactly, of course, mimic me. You'll do your own thing. And one of the things that I do in my advanced mechanics is I integrate the capability of understanding or deconstructing the form, the body principle, as well as the mind and give advice and guidance pertaining to that. So that I cannot teach you completely at BG5. You have to go over to the differentiation degree program in order to have that kind of level of advancement in the implementation of the material. Okay, so when you discover your treasure map, how are you going to market yourself in your business? What's your purpose? What's your shadows? What are your challenges? How can you leverage your gifts? Who are you here to work with? Which way does your energy flow best? Can you let go of those fears and false negative belief systems? Which business model is suited for you? Do you profit more on your own or in partnership or as part of a team? You see me working with partnership and as a part of a team because that's the way I'm built to, because I'm designed to. But for you, it might be solo. Now, how do you know who to hire on your team that will help you profit? How can you best market yourself in your business? What works for you specifically in your career and business profitability? These are all areas of the profit potential coaching and using your treasure map as I do love to do in group. The next step would be to discover your alpha one leadership. Once you've mastered yourself, how can you have a profound evolutionary leap in the way that you do business out in the world with others? because this is area of the body graph where we work in large groupings or not, you may not respond to it, so it's not for you. But the tendency is that when you get into the large group, you will either rise to the top of upper management or lower management. How can that be possible? Which is the right way forward. Sometimes what happens is people engage with the material from a mental place and say, okay, so you're here to be a manager, so you go off and find yourself a management job. Mm -mm, sorry, not true, not necessarily. We have to come back to operating in integrity, in alignment, and that is also one of my places of joy in helping guide other people. So that's the plan. Next is how it works. I want to talk to you a little bit about the gears that run a profitable company or turning your shadows into success. One of my favorite things in the beginning of programs were called shadows to success because I primarily focused on projectors and made many iterations of this course, working with them to break through the shadow state self that locked them into bitterness and resentment. Now, when we come to these three different levels of how I can work with people and how you can work with people, you're going to see each of these levels building upon the other so that we see a holistic look at how individuals are benefited small businesses are benefited and large businesses are benefited by using the human design system for business the bg5 career and business success code with others so now when it comes to the individual success codes you saw those 16 success codes are used to help you understand your gifts talents and where you fit into the business world this can empower you to have a resource through that detailed map of living your BG5 success code, synthesizing all the aspects of analysis together. And that is what I teach BG5 certified consultants to do so that you can give and you as a client can receive practical individual guidance in terms of how to incorporate all of this information into your career and business scenarios. Always keeping in mind that you are your own authority, that you need to make the call. Your advisor, your counselor, your consultant, your coach cannot tell you what to do. It defeats the purpose of this system. But we can guide you. We can advise you. 
we can help you find your way forward. BG5 Business Institute invited me in to create special programs called Being You in Business. So the business of being you, in other words, profit comes to you with the right amount of challenge when you are doing what is right for your design, when you are doing what you're aligned to do, what you were born to do. What's your joy? What is your passion? What is your desire? What is your need? What are you literally here to bring into the world, your gifts? There are people waiting out there for you to rise and shine, dear one. I want you to remember that you are your own authority and that you can do this. If you've had some kind of calling, now's your time. If it's right for you to move forward into individual or group coaching, you can see Lavina doing lots and lots of group coaching because that is my joy. That is my passion. That is my spirit of abundance arising from within. As in, I do want for your success to happen, but I can't force and push you to make it happen. So in an individual, we're looking again, treasure map, this map, if you will, these wonderful codes to the success of a projector or the peace of a manifester, the satisfaction of a generator, the surprise of the reflector. In that treasure map, there are many different ways that we can analyze what's going on relative to the openness and the activations within that openness that allows one to give of one's outer authority to the other in order that we find the correct way forward together. And each one of these conscious and unconscious traits, particularly when they're in an undefined function, they are learning and wisdom potentials that you can give to the other. And in profiting off of this wisdom potential, all of these different activations that you're seeing, the way that I make money, the way that I coach people to quit, to let go, to find proof and improvement, inspiration and certainty. These are my wisdom potentials. These are my money receptors. Okay, so you look down at your body graph, you see these undefined functions. They are the place where you can give, think of them like an outstretched hand, give to the other when recognized and invited and emotionally clear as an example specific to this person's design. So that's the kind of stuff that I like to do. How can this work with others accordingly to their treasure map? We looked at the treasure map profit centers and that they are money receptors. Now, that's not to say that I don't make money with my imagination and my inspiration. I certainly do. This is what I am and what is broadcast to you, coming to you live from sunny Sedona, Arizona. When it comes to figuring out on the material plane what does and doesn't work in the openness and partnership, that's where we can really bring our gifts. And that's where we can learn to make money. So the stuff that's fixed, it's you. We can't change that. But the stuff that's in openness, ah, flexibility, figure out ability, if you want to call it that. In my profit potential coaching, my group coaching, this is a practical process that I have developed discovering how you can fine tune your unique BG5 career design so that you can access your own innate, innate. <laughs> I said innate, <laughs> your own innate wisdom so that you can be aware of what throws you off track and distracts you and how you are naturally designed to profit. I'm only here singing you your soul song of strengths and public role and life work, how it's synthesized with their mission, values, and vision so that you can develop and offer your own signature product or service to others in the most correct and authentic way. Now, how do we do that is we first have to conquer your fears. And one of the things that I did was I created a consulting study group on facing fears in order to help fellow BG5 professionals to learn how I do that with others. My equivalent of this is the Living Your Design Guide training program where I help my students coach people through their fears. It's a bonus piece that I do. And help people awaken to their art endeavors. What is it that they can learn to be able to create a business out of? Because if you could imagine in a business, and actually let me go back here, right here, yeah accessing your superpowers, that's why the image. In being able to access, going first through the fears, letting go of anything that isn't yours, and being able to access the true you, the unique you, you being able to enlighten and enliven your fractal with what it is that you've learned and developed as a wisdom potential over your lifetime. There's your sign. 
that thing that doesn't leave you alone that you could study night and day projector that thing that you work with constantly because or not you might take breaks from it generator but you come back around to it and you keep working with it you keep playing with it you keep iterating because there's something that won't let you go it won't because it's so satisfying to do that work or you find so much peace doing that work or you find so much surprise doing that work remember you are your own authority. You can do this. And in the BG5 Small Business Engineering, what I do and what I train my consultants to do is to help business owners identify and resolve problems within their business. Small business is comprised of three to five people in the human design realms. So when we have a unified group of employees working together as a unit, a singularly focused unit, operating at an optimal level for success, the alpha, whoever is in charge, whoever owns the business can step away and allow this business to keep running like a well-oiled machine, if it's functional. And that's what we do with engineering. This is a really unique modality. It's unparalleled in its accuracy as far as predicting problems and finding solutions to empower small teams, family organizations, or boutique businesses. So if you have a small business in person, I will help you understand how you're here to be you in relationship to that business, as well as the large group. So in large group, this is a WA dynamic where we have OC16 the organizing channels of a group of 16 people, of which I am an analyst and an analyst teacher, we work with large group dynamics. And if you are a large business owner, let's say 10 to 16 people and beyond, as a manager or as a team leader to understand your place within the role of the context within the hierarchy, to understand the lines of communication using the HD technology of channels and the way that they are designed to feed into this alpha construct so that you have more power, more uh, awareness, more ears to the ground, more capability of motivating your staff by speaking to the right people who are going to speak to them. Because by the time you get to 16 people, obviously, you're not going to have a close personal one-on-one -on -one relationship with every single one of those people. But it is about creating healthy and productive work environments in order to improve your bottom line. So there are three different paths to success, the gears that run a profitable company. First, we have individuals, then we have small groups, and then we have large groups. Now, within that, of course, you have partnerships. So an individual, I partner with you as a growth partner, part of where I fulfill my life's work. You want some growth over here. This is where I'm here to fulfill my life's work. Find some growth in your business so that you can, on the material plane, succeed rather than be gripped with the fear of failure. I'm here to help you get over that fear of failure so that you can be tranquil in times of change because everything's changing. That's how it works in a nutshell. Now your key partners or who do you need? You need allies. We're all interdependent. Some of us independent as in solo definition, but that don't make money in a vacuum. There's always going to be someone on the other side most of the time. So who do you need? You need the big picture, the right people. The greatest resource you have is yourself, so find yourself first. The next greatest is the right allies. In order for you to be you in business, this is why I've created three different programs at the BG5 Institute, being you in business, one, two, and three. You do not have to take them in order. One is about type, and making decisions correctly. Two is about business success situations, as in the places and spaces where your career and business is designed to thrive. And the third is profit potential coaching. So that's your profit centers. That is the introductory piece to learning how to apply this material in your life and in your business. So again, what I'm attempting to do with you is help you see the way that I see you from my personal view so that you can unlock your potential and align to your career design strengths, outsource anything that you perceive as a potential weakness or flaw, know exactly who you need to hire, sometimes who you need to fire and when, and get advice from your own design, not me. But my interpretation of your design is quite logical. It's found in the source materials of the human design system. And if you were to study for 12 years, you'd probably see most of it, if not all, or more.